Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is Crazy Crescent. Crazy Crescent is a uh, toy, I'm not really sure whether it's a puzzle, um, where we have a whole rainbow of uh, crescent shaped uh, pieces and each of them is uh, threaded and they're threaded through each other. And the best way to see the threading is uh, by removing uh, or moving down the red piece and you see that uh, the purple, the blue, the green, the yellow and the orange piece, they have all their threads aligned in such a way that they fit together. And uh, the interesting thing is you can rotate each of them just in place and everything keeps uh, fitting and uh, as you can see it just uh, aligns perfectly. So the purpose of this uh, thing is actually, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a children's toy where um, you can make all kinds of uh, nice shapes, so let me uh, make a tower shape. So this is a bit of a tower. You can also uh, take, uh, take it uh, apart and uh, when you take it apart then uh, suddenly you will discover that there is actually a uh, puzzle element because uh, when you put them together just randomly, so we put this one here, we put that one there, we put in the green one and the blue one, so when we make it flat suddenly we see that uh, we have made a different shape and uh, the original shape where they had uh, everything here you su suddenly see that uh, things don't align anymore and this uh, is because uh, uh, some of the larger pieces they have the threads going multiple times around so um, the only way to, uh, to solve this is to uh, have it start not from here but maybe from here and now I have uh, solved the yellow and of course I've not yet solved uh, the blue one Let's, uh so the blue one actually should be put in um, backward, uh, so with the opening at this side. And now we have the crazy crescents uh, all uh, together in their original state. So my question to you is about uh, the marketing of this uh, puzzle toy. As you see it's not really a puzzle, it's more like a, a toy. It's very fiddly, it's uh, attractive, it's something that uh, you just keep in your hand and you keep uh, playing with, it's, uh, it's very tactile. So I was wondering uh, if this would be marketed as a toy, what would be the age bracket of the people uh, um, enjoying this. Would this be a children's toy for 6 till 10 years old or maybe for 3 to 6 um, or is it uh, uh, more an uh, adult uh, uh, desk toy? Um, what do you think? Thank you for watching.